yeah, we ordered from a uh, ordered from a local place. It's uh, not bad looking. It kind of matches. Although I did that. Good, good. Um, um, what do you think of the restaurant? Do you come here often? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Um, I guess sushi is a uh, sushi is a specialty. Best fast food. It's got a nice diner quality to it. Although the um, we appear to be in the middle of a giant car parking lot. If you look outside. <laughs> Yes, well, that would explain why we're the only people here. Right, yeah, it, is, it is eerily quiet. I, I sense a couple of invisible people hanging, out, hanging around there. Yes, I think so. Um, so um, I, I was very interested by this sense of presence. Do you think you have presence in um, VR? I think it's a melting yeah, word, think, isn't it? Yeah, no, totally. The sense of being actually here in this space um, yeah, I think I've kind of got that now. It gets broken occasionally when, uh, you know, when my body twists into a, into weird shapes, or I find myself float, suddenly floating six feet in the air. That you know, tends to break the feeling of presence. But actually, even at those moments, even when I was up in the air, I still felt like, oh my gosh, here I am up there in the air. So it's still a, yeah, there's still something quite powerful to it. Your body, your brain, very naturally interprets these signals and interprets them as you being there in this space. How about you? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, on one level, uh, it all looks incredibly artificial, doesn't it? But um, on another level, <laughs> you just feel as though there is uh, a reality. I'm sitting opposite you at a table. I can hear your voice perfectly. Um, mm -hmm. There is a sense that you are sitting there. So. Uh, yeah, and the, and the avatar looks actually, looks actually quite realistic. It may, maybe it helps that we haven't met in the uh, in yeah. the physical world, but uh, yeah, it's not unlike having having lunch with somebody at least until we start eating. <laughs>